Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in strong support of House Resolution 1154 and call on all of my colleagues to denounce the dangerous QAnon conspiracy theories. You know, QAnon is a new front on an old war and relies on anti-Semitic tropes in order to spread the message. QAnon followers actually believe that the world is controlled by a secret cabal of child abusers who will drink the blood of their victims. The FBI has linked the group to um, domestic, domestic terror and consider, considers it a, con, a continuing terrorist threat. I want to uh, thank Tom Alanowski for um, leading this and, and now for the kind of um, messages that he is getting, very, very frightening. And I also want to thank um, Denver Riggerman, Riggerman, at, Rigger, Riggleman, sorry, um, and all of the bipartisan sponsors of this, of this legislation. Just last week, my subcommittee held a hearing on how social media mainstreams extremism. When we, when we hear, uh, when, we, when we heard from our witnesses, it was really terrifying. QAnon and other extreme groups have thrived for years on the uh, internet, recruiting members, promoting racism, dividing our, com our communities, and plotting actions of violence. And as people have, have suffered, big tech has prospered and profited. Algorithms that amplify profits for platforms like Facebook and YouTube, Twitter, also amplify, amplify extremism. This week, Facebook announced a ban on ads that uh, support QAnon. Good, but it's far too little and far too late. Facebook used uh, uh, users who are in QAnon associated groups will still be able to see extremist content just further down the road on their news feeds. Moreover, Facebook groups promoting anti-Semitism have grown by 27% in the past week. Congress needs to de denounce right now this kind of hate rhetoric, and big tech must help a, uh, uh, must be held accountable for profiting on this hate. Before I close, I would like to also um, uh, state my support for House Resolution 1153 and thank um, Pramila Jayapal for leading the effort um, and to uh, Speaker Pelosi and Majority Leader Hoyer for their help on this resolution as well. Thank you.